Okay, you all, listen. Listen. There is a correction that needs to be made. So let's get to it. And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to put my soap on. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is a correction video. You all know, y'all know what it gives. If I make a mistake, I'm going to probably come back telling you that I made a mistake. And, and you all got the correction in order. I was going through my, um, my comments for Married to Medicine and I was checking it out. And sure enough, you all, it was a consensus. I was like, uh-uh, you made a mistake, James. So I was going to wait until next week and actually do it during the, um, during the, the next episode. But I felt like it needed to be addressed now because it's going to kind of sway, it, it sways kind of what was said. It's kind of a, a big thing, but a little thing. Okay, so we just need to get on to it now. Get, we need to get on to it now. So the apology in order is actually for Quad because I had actually made the comment, you know, you know, well, I had a whole issue about the $500 party. And just some of the, the, the way that it came across and, and, you know, it just seemed, it just, I don't know, it just was, it made me uneasy, and I thought that it was going to make some other people uneasy, and it did. It did. It did. That's in the comments as well. But the main one, I had actually said, there was a comment that was made about a dress, and it was Heavenly and Quad actually coming into the party. See, there's two different places where this came up. They were coming into the party and Quad and Heavenly, Quad has said, this is a beautiful home. And as they were cutting the bend and they walked behind the brick wall, there was a piece of a brick wall and you couldn't see either one of their mouths. And I didn't pick up the voice. I thought it was Quad saying, I hope this cheap dress doesn't split on me. But it wasn't Quad. It was Dr. Heavenly, who actually said it. And then there's another scene where they were getting ready to sit down with the other ladies after they were in the party. And Dr. Heavenly made a comment about her cheap dress. So I made the mistake. I thought that it was Quad that actually made the comment. And the reason I spoke out on it, because y'all know I'm a big old Quad fan from way back. That's never been, child, listen, we're not even going to go there with all the arguments that have gone back and forth between myself and you all about y'all thinking I give Quad a pass, okay? And I've always said, if she's wrong or she does something that doesn't sit well with me or she says something that doesn't sit well with me, I will say what I have to say about Quad, just like I do with everybody else. And that's what happened. I thought that it was Quad that made the comment. And that's why I spoke out on it. It would have made a difference. Now that I realize it wasn't Quad, it was Dr. Heavenly, I'm going to say what I got to say about her. But I have to apologize to Quad. And I did speak on it because it was, it was weird to me. It was out of character to hear her say that. Because she said her dress was like 200 and some odd dollars. And that was out of character to hear her say, you know, like, this dress is cheap. And it, it was out of character. That's why I spoke on it. So I, I definitely do owe quite an apology. Now, I ain't really going to drag Heavenly too much because Heavenly is pretentious. She is pretentious and she is um, giving very much mm, tease. And that ain't got nothing to do with Married to Medicine. Go and check out her performance on the Queen's Supreme Court that she was with Maddie last week. And she had a whole lot to say about 
closed at H&M. And it came across very nose up. So I don't need to drag Heavenly. That's what she gives. That's what she gives. So that's that. And like I said, there's the proof. Go to Maddie's channel. Go to T.S. Madison, the Queen's Supreme Court. Pull up two weeks ago when it was Heavenly and she was the special guest on the bench. She comes across very much that way. The comment doesn't shock me at all that she actually made it like that. It shocked me that it would come from Quad, and that's why I spoke. But I was wrong. I stand to be corrected. I corrected it. It is what it is. And I'm sure Quad will accept the apology. I'm sure she won't come find me and claw my eyes out. I'm taller than her. <laughs> she don't give a shit that I'm taller than her. But I'm sure that Quad will accept my apology and won't claw my eyes out. But y'all know that when I do reviews, I do reviews. I don't do blow by blow, scene by scene. I talk about things that stuck out to me. That stuck out to me because that seemed very out of character. The reason it was out of character, because it was. It wasn't her. It was Heavenly's old ass that said it. So, sorry, Quad. I apologize. I was wrong. Heavenly, girl, do you. That's what you give. There ain't no biggie. Ain't no thing. That's, that's what she gives, honey. Anyway, so there you have it. Self-correction. Let's move on. Let's move on. And I still say, I hope that we don't see Jocelyn keep popping up. She don't fit in. She don't fit in. She don't fit in. That's a whole different type of animal that they dealing with, Miss Hernandez. I love Jocelyn for what Jocelyn does. I don't want to see Jocelyn over here wrestling around with these ladies from Married to Medicine. None of them. None of them. And y'all, I'm going to say it again, and I'm getting out of here. I ain't never been a Toya fan, but in this instance, I am team Toya all the way. Toya did not, didn't do anything that warranted the behavior that came from Jocelyn during that party. Why is she so angry with Buffy? I, it just seems so... <sighs> It just seems fake, like we had to figure out a reason and a way to work Buffy into this, into our show. But no, Toya didn't deserve that from Jocelyn, and that's that. So anyway, I'm a little ticked with the show about that, but whatever. It's whatever. I'm still a fan, and I will talk to you all next Sunday. Later. <laughs>